Hey everybody, I'm here to talk about some middle grade traveling books. First up we have Love Double Dutch. Michaela is in middle school in Brooklyn and she's really excited and hopes to compete in the national jump off at Madison Square Garden until her mom says that she's spending the summer in North Carolina with her aunt. And she is not thrilled. Um, she doesn't really get along with her cousin, she's kind of snotty. Um, and she's kind of like, what am I going to do about Double Dutch? But it turns out that Double Dutch is really big in her aunt's town and she just needs to find a team and a routine and hopefully she can make her time in the South count. So this is really fun. I was thinking there was some pictures, but there's not. It's a really great read. Um... I learned a lot about Double Dutch because I didn't really know much about it, so that was kind of fun. This one, Saltwater Secrets, this is from Cindy Callahan. Cindy Callahan wrote Just Add Magic, which is a show on Amazon Prime, I think, which is also based off of a book that's just called Magic. And then she does like these Lost in Places, so there's Lost in Ireland, Lost in London, Lost in Hollywood. They're all really fun. Um, and this is part a summer read, part mystery. So, um, Stella and Josie are stepsisters, and they spend the summers together with their dad in, Jer in New Jersey, on the Jersey Shore. And Stella is really excited, but um, she and Josie are kind of drifting apart. Josie is a little bit older, and she's more interested in kind of hanging out with other people, and maybe boys, and Stella just wants things to be the same. Um, but then they realize that the boardwalk and, so the boardwalk has kind of fallen apart and the, um, marine life, like the habitat is in, in danger and something else is going on with this really weird, not weird, but new, um, smoothie shop and Stella's like, mm, something doesn't add up. So she's kind of trying to figure all of these pieces out and, um, she's hoping that she can pull her sister into this mystery and that will make them closer again and they'll have another awesome summer together. This one is Summer of a Thousand Pies. This is by Margaret Dilloway. Um, Katie's sent to live with her aunt. Um, she and her dad have kind of been homeless for a little bit and her dad's in some hot water. So she goes to stay with her aunt. And she didn't know that she hadn't not, so they've never met, and it's kind of awkward. Um, she's staying in, like, the old family home on the family apple orchard, and she's in her mother's old room, so she doesn't know much about her family life. Um, her aunt has a pie shop, but the pie shop is failing, um, and so they're in a little bit of financial trouble. And Katie's really kind of interested in learning how to bake pies, and... Um, her aunt says, you know, once you've made the thousand pies, like, you get the hang of it. So it's a lot of practice. So that's what this is. Summer of a Thousand Pies. And which pie is her favorite? And which pie is your favorite? I'm a big pie person. I, it's hard to pick a favorite pie, though. I like them all. Um, this one, out of tune, Maya's parents are decided to drive across the coast country in an RV. Maya is m unhappy because she wanted to audition for Dooley. Dueling Duets, um, which is a musical competition that she's really thinking that she could win and it would kind of propel her into a country stardom. So she kind of decides that she's just going to ditch her family and she's going to take a 100 mile bike ride from where they are to where the audition is held and that, that is a terrible idea and it doesn't go the way she plans it. Surprise! So those all were set in summer, but I had to pick one winter book because I think winter is kind of a fun. And this cover is really neat. So I don't know if you can see, but like the windows kind of pop, which is really fun. Um, so Elizabeth is an orphan. Um, she lives with her aunt and uncle and they are really not very nice people. But they, she gets a letter that says that she has won in a week's vacation. I think it's a week, maybe it's two weeks, at the winter house, and it's all expenses paid, and her aunt and uncle are like, great, we'll go on vacation, you can go to this place. And she arrives, and that's, it's kind of weird. Um, there are some strange things happening, 
but it's also like this really pretty hotel. There's a lot of people there. Um, she can pretty much do whatever she wants. She can eat whatever she wants, so it's wildly different for her. Um, there's a massive library, and the library in this is really neat. But she finds a magical book, and suddenly some things are a little bit strange, and some things keep happening, and she overhears some conversations, and you know, she's not really sure who to trust and what is really happening at the Winter House. So this is the first in the series, too, and I think all of the books are out right now, so that's exciting. If you could travel anywhere, where would you travel to? We'll see you next week.